KVR Maths Academy, Maths in Easy Way. Hi friends, welcome to KVR Maths Academy. Today in this video, let us do problems in exercise 12.1 in applications of trigonometry of 10th class mathematics right yes let us see first one a tower stands vertically on the ground from a point which is 15 meters away from the foot of the tower the angle of elevation of the top of the tower is 45 degrees what is the height of the tower right you yes, see again a tower stands vertically on the ground right from a point which is 15 meters away from the foot of the tower the angle of elevation of the top of the tower is 45 degrees what is the height of the tower this is the problem he has given let us do so first what we have to do yes first we have to draw a neat diagram of right angle triangle right yes see by the data we will draw the diagram a tower stands vertically on the ground. Suppose AB, AB is the tower which is stands vertically on the ground, right? Next, from a point which is 15 meters away from the foot of the tower. So, a point, suppose this is the point which is 15 meters away, 15 meters away from the foot of the tower suppose this is the c is the point of observation which is 15 meters away from the foot of the tower right yes next the angle of elevation of the top of the tower is 45 degrees the angle of elevation of the top of the tower is this is 45 degrees what is the height of the tower what is the height of the tower so we have to find a b right height of the tower shall we find yes uh, uh, from this figure draw what has given in data suppose um height of the height of the tower height of the tower a b is equal to let h meters right so this is think it of h meters point of observation point of observation yes c point of observation is c right yes next here ac is equal to distance between foot of the tower and point of observation distance between foot of the tower and point of observation point of observation is equal to how much yes 15 meters right angle of elevation angle of elevation he has given what is that angle bca is equal to 45 degrees right so what we have to find here ab we have to find right ab we have to find see for 45 degrees ab is the opposite side and ac is the adjacent right isn't it so opposite side and adjacent side if you take means what will what is the appropriate trigonometric ratio yes tan theta right yes here apply tan theta right tan from the from triangle bac from triangle bac tan 45 degrees is equal to Opposite side means AB, adjacent side means AC. AB by AC, right? Say it's a tan 45, how much? Yes, exactly 1. AB means we don't know H. Then AC means 15, right? Do cross multiplication. So this is 15. 15 is equal to H, right? Uh, so that implies H is equal to 15, 15. Therefore, 
height of the height of the tower height of the tower is 15 meters that's it have you understood clearly yes next second problem a tree breaks due to storm and the broken part bends so that the top of the tree touches the ground by making 30 degrees angle with the ground the distance between the foot of the tree and the top of the tree on the ground is 6 meters find the height of the tree before falling down okay again i'm reading a tree breaks due to storm and the broken part bends so that the top of the tree touches the ground by making an angle of 30 degrees with the ground right the distance between the foot of the tree and top of the tree on the ground is 6 meters find the height of the tree before falling down right see uh, by the diagram i'll explain see suppose ab is the tree ab is the tree before falling down this is the tree when a stone comes it has broken at point uh, suppose c at point c and this broken part has touches the ground at a point d right so the broken part of the tree touches the ground at a point d and it making an angle of makes an angle of 30 degrees on the ground right next uh, again the distance between foot of the tree and top of the tree on the ground is 6 meters so this is the foot of the tree actually this is the top of the tree na? so it has broken and falling down on the earth so the top of the tree is this one so the distance between top of the tree and foot of the tree is and also given 6 meters then what we have to find is find the height of the tree before falling down so that's why ab we have to find ab means here bc bc is equal to cd why because of this is the broken part of the tree right it has broken at point c that's why bc means acd both are equal if we find uh, ac plus cd ac plus cd that will be ab that is the um, actual height of the tree right understood or not yes so first take this one ab is the ab is the actual height of the tree right it has broken it has broken at a point C right or not it has broken at point C and uh, touches touches the ground at a point D at point D yes here AD is equal to and AD is equal to AD means the distance between foot of the top, foot of the tree and the top of the tree that is equal to 6 meters he has given 6 meters next angle of elevation angle of elevation angle CDA angle CDA is equal to 30 degrees right yes by this triangle first find ac after that find cd here ad has given for 30 degrees ac is the opposite side and ad is the adjacent side and cd is the hypotenuse right or not yes so that's why for 30 degrees opposite side and adjacent side what is that appropriate trigonometric ratio Yes, tan theta, right? Yes, in triangle C, in triangle CAD, in triangle CAD, tan 30 degrees is equal to opposite side AC by AD, AC by AD, which means tan 30 means? Yes, 1 by 
root 3. AC, we don't know AC. Substitute AD. AD means 6. Right. Yes, that implies AC is equal to 6 by root 3. AC is equal to 6 by root 3 has come. Next, in the same triangle, uh, find hypotenuse. Here, HS inside and hypotenuse means? Yes, what? Yes, cos theta. Yes. Again, cos 30. Cos 30 degrees is equal to HS inside AD by DC. AD by DC. Here, cos 30 is? Yes, root 3 by 2. That is equal to AD is 6. 6 by CD. CD or DC. Both are same only now. Yeah. So that implies CD is equal to 2 6 are 12, 12 by root 3. 12 by root 3. Here AB means AB means AC plus BC. In the place of BC, substitute CD. Uh, next. AB is equal to AB is equal to AC plus BC. So, in the place of BC, what can you substitute? Yes. AC plus BC means CD. CD. That is equal to AC is how much? 6 by root 3 we got. Plus CD means 12 by root 3. 6 by root 3 plus 12 by root 3. That is uh, 18 by root 3. 18 by root 3. Um, rationalize the denominator. Root 3 by root 3. So that is equal to 18 root 3 by 3. Root 3 into root 3 is 3. 3 how many times? 6 times. That is equal to 6 root 3 matters. Therefore, actual, actual height of the tree, actual height of the tree is equal to 6, 6 root 3 meters. Is it clear? Yes, that's it. Okay, next third question. A contractor wants to set up a slide for children to play in the park. He wants to set it up at the height of 2 meters and by making an angle of 30 degrees with the ground. What should be the length of the slide? Right? Again, see, a contractor wants to set up a slide for the children to play in the park. Right? Next, he wants to set up it up at the height of 2 meters and by making an angle of 30 degrees with the ground. Yes, what should be the length of the slide? We have to find the length of the slide. Right? Yes. So, I'll explain by drawing um, a neat diagram. See, in the park, a slide will be constructed which is in 2 meters high from the earth. 2 meters height. Which is 2 meters height from the earth. So this is the height of the slide. Next this is the, suppose this is the slide. Right? So this is the slide. Okay. So this is slide. If the slide making an angle of 30 degrees on the ground. Making an angle of 30 degrees on the ground. Right? So, here, this is the end point of the slide on the earth. Suppose, A, B, C is the triangle. B, C is the height of the slide from the ground. Next, this A, C is the slide. So, we have to find the length of the slide. Right? Yes. Height, height of the slide, BC is equal to 2 meters, right, uh, angle of, angle of elevation, angle of elevation, angle CAB is equal to 30 degrees, angle CAB is equal to 30 degrees, next, uh, uh, AC is the length of the length of the slide so we have to find the length of the slide right yes look here so for a 
this 30 degrees angle this is the opposite side and this is the adjacent side and this is the hypotenuse right so we have to find this one you see so for 30 degrees if you take opposite side and hypotenuse what is the appropriate trigonometric ratio yes opposite side by hypotenuse means yes sin theta so we have to take sin theta as ratio right yes in triangle a b c sin 30 degrees is equal to sin 30 degrees is equal to opposite side b c by hypotenuse yes b c by yes right sin 30 degrees means yes exactly 1 by 2 that is equal to b c means b c how much 2 meters 2 by a c we have to find a c value so to cross multiplication that implies a c is equal to 2 2 into 2 that is equal to 4 right therefore the length of the side length of the slide is 4 meters so we will construct 4 meters of slide right because it is in the height of 2 meters Understood? Yes. If you like my video, please like and share. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you. Thank you very much.